Duke Montgomery. I never go anywhere without my Baba Pedic. John Hill. No Baba Pedic. Toyota's Patriots Today, presented by buyatoyota.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Toyota's Patriots Today. I'm Lindsay Petruni. While the hype machine is churning for Monday night's game and will continue to churn through the weekend, let's not forget there are some compelling matchups to pay attention to between the lines on the field during those 60 minutes of action. Brian Lowe has more in this week's opponent preview brought to you by Verizon. Through five quarters of this NFL season, quarterback Mark Sanchez and the New York Jets offense were 1 for 12 on third downs. In the second quarter of the Patriots Jets showdown at the Meadowlands, however, Sanchez connected with Braylon Edwards on three straight third down passes, including a touchdown that helped lead the Jets to their first win of the year and the Patriots to their first loss of the year. As the two teams get set for their Week 13 rematch, the Patriots defense is sure to have its hands full once again with the Jets passing game. Not only has Sanchez continued to improve in his second season, but the weapons around him have as well. Edwards is now joined by Santonio Holmes at wide receiver. The former Steeler was under suspension in week two, but has four touchdowns in his last three games. Well, you know, it's never, you know, never easy in this league, um, you know, uh, with, with these offenses. And, uh, you know, and San, San Antonio, he just adds a, a dynamic, it makes him that more dynamic. As the Pats well know, tight end Dustin Keller may be the most important Jet to keep an eye on. Keller had his best game of the season in week two, with over 100 yards receiving and a score against the Pats. He's a great athlete. Um, you gotta try and slow him up at the line of scrimmage. That's the best way, just not, not to let him get going down the field. What's been happening with the Patriots when it comes to pass defense is this. No team has allowed more yards through the air, yet only three teams in the entire league have more interceptions than Devin McCourty and company. That propensity for takeaways has helped mask the growing pains for the young Patriots defense and will be important on Monday night. After all, when the Pats and Jets met up at Gillette Stadium last year, Sanchez threw four interceptions as the Pats won. We're going to have our hands full. We're going we to have our hands full with them. But the same token, you know, we you know we playing home and you know, out there they beat us. And hopefully we can, we can turn that around this week. Well, back in week two, when the Patriots lost to the Jets, the newest member of the Patriots was Danny Woodhead. He was signed the day before. He was inactive in that game, but of course, his previous team was the New York Jets. Now, this week, Woodhead has been downplaying what sort of value he could bring to the Patriots as they prepare for the Jets. Bill Belichick did say that he could certainly tap into Woodhead's knowledge of the Jets as the Pats prepare for Monday night. That'll do it for now. We'll see you next time on Toyota's Patriots Today. Patriots Today is brought to you by American Airlines. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines.